Honoured, honoured guests are now invited to make an address. First, Mr. Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan, is going to take the podium. Here today, on the occasion of the 69th Nagasaki Peace Ceremony, I reverently express my sincerest condolences to the souls of the atomic bomb victims. I also extend my heartfelt sympathy to those still suffering from the after effects of the atomic bomb. On this day, 69 years ago, a single bomb deprived more than 70,000 people of their lives. It destroyed the homes of 120,000 people with its furious fires and blasts. Those who survived were forced to endure unspeakable hardships of illness and disabilities as well as difficulties in their daily lives. We had to live through severe suffering from an atomic bomb, not just once, but twice. And yet, we endured pain and sorrow to stand up again and to rebuild our homeland, restoring beautiful streets of Nagasaki. This is the day not only to honor the memories of the victims, but also to express our gratitude for our forebears for the enormous efforts and achievement that they made. As the only country in human history to have experienced the horror of nuclear devastation in war, Japan bears a responsibility to bring about a world free of nuclear weapons without fail. We have a duty to continue to convey the inhumane nature of nuclear weapons to the next generation and to the world. Last year, at the high-level meeting of the United Nations General Assembly on Nuclear Disarmament, I declared my determination to achieve a world free of nuclear weapons. The draft resolution on nuclear disarmament submitted by the government of Japan had more than 100 co-sponsor states for the first time and was adopted with an overwhelming majority. Working towards the early entry into force of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, Japan is also advancing realistic and practical nuclear disarmament by directly urging the heads of state and government of relevant nations to ratify the treaty and through other such efforts. In April this year, the Non-Proliferation and Disarmament Initiative Foreign Ministers Meeting was held in Hiroshima. From the site of an atomic bombing, our message was sent out powerfully to the world. Next year, the 70th year since the bombing will be a milestone. And also next year, the review conference of the parties to the Treaty to Non-Proliferation Nuclear Weapons, NPT, which is held once every five years, will be convened. We will further advance efforts to realize a world free of nuclear weapons. There are individuals who are still waiting in pain and suffering to be recognized as having an atomic bomb disease. At the end of last year, the government revised the criteria for granting recognition, bearing in mind the discussions held by relevant persons over three years. The government will continue to make sincere efforts to enable more people to receive such recognition as soon as possible. This morning, as we mourn the souls of the victims in Nagasaki, I pledge that I will redouble my efforts to carry out these duties. I would like to conclude with my heartfelt prayers once again for the repose of the souls of the victims. I would also like to extend my best wishes to the bereaved families and to the atomic bomb survivors.
I will close my address with a pledge that Japan will firmly uphold the three known nuclear principles and spare no efforts in working towards the total abolition of nuclear weapons and the realization of eternal peace of the world so that the horror and devastation caused by nuclear weapons may never be repeated. Shinzo Abe, Prime Minister of Japan, the 9th of August, 2014. Mr. Hodo Nakamura, the governor of Nagasaki Prefecture. On the occasion of Nagasaki Peace Ceremony, I offer my heartfelt prayers to the deceased victims of atomic bombing, together with the residents of Nagasaki Prefecture. 69 years ago this day, a single atomic bomb exploded above the city of Nagasaki. The horrendous blast winds and heat rays, together with a massive amount of radiation, instantly destroyed and burnt down all things, turning Nagasaki into a hell on earth. Seventy-four thousand people lost their precious lives, and those who managed to survive sustained incurable scars on their minds and bodies. But thanks to the all-out effort by many survivors and those who supported them, Nagasaki, which was once a burnt-out ruin, has recovered and developed into a beautiful city abound with greenery and aspiration for peace. However, the grief of those who lost their beloved families is still so deep and has not been eased. The average age of the atomic bomb survivors is approaching 80 and they continue to age. The 70th anniversary of the atomic bombing next year will be a major milestone for Nagasaki. Nagasaki Prefecture will work with the national government and step up its effort to improve the support measures for the atomic bomb survivors, including the speedier screening and validation of the operation status of the new screening policy. We, the residents of Nagasaki Prefecture, have been telling the world of the inhumanity of nuclear weapons for many years. In October last year, the Japanese government finally supported the joint statement on the humanitarian consequences of nuclear weapons at the United Nations General Assembly. We welcome the Japanese government's effort and look toward a better future. Existence of nuclear weapons, which can annihilate the mankind many times over, is a major threat to the future of mankind. Under no circumstances should the use of nuclear weapons be accepted. I ask the Japanese government once again to make all possible efforts as the only country that has suffered a nuclear devastation by spearheading the international community's move towards realizing a world without nuclear weapons. At the ministerial meeting of non-proliferation and disarmament initiative held in Hiroshima in April this year, world political leaders were encouraged to visit atomic bomb scarred cities. It is our sincere wish 
that those leaders of the world will visit Nagasaki, witness the inhumanity of nuclear weapons with their own eyes, and work with us to abolish nuclear weapons as soon as possible. In Nagasaki, we have devoted our efforts to tell the realities of atomic bombing and send a message of peace to the world by holding atomic bomb exhibitions and dispatching high school students as peace ambassadors. In November last year, Nagasaki hosted the fifth Nagasaki Global Citizens Assembly for the elimination of nuclear weapons, at which many local organizations joined hands with the local governments in sending the message of peace to the world. With our wish to make Nagasaki the last place to suffer a nuclear attack in mind, we will convey to the people of the world the horror and inhumanity of atomic bombing and call for the abolition of nuclear weapons and realization of lasting world peace more strongly than ever. Now, the great East Japan earthquake in 2011 uh, had left deep scars on the affected region because of the radioactive substances from the failed Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Many people are still forced to endure life as evacuees. I urge the Japanese government to speed up the recovery process and to take all possible measures to avoid similar accidents at other nuclear power plants in Japan. This day, August 9th, is an unforgettable day for the residents of Nagasaki Prefecture. It is not only the day of prayers, but also the day of pledge to vow never to allow the world to have a nuclear devastation for the third time. I hereby offer my words of prayers to the deceased victims of the atomic bombing, wishing the survivors and those affected by the atomic bombing residing in Japan and abroad good health and with strong conviction and aspiration, vowing to make further efforts to achieve the abolition of nuclear weapons and everlasting world peace. Hodo Nakamura, Governor of Nagasaki Prefecture, August 9, 2014.